और डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अ महेश जवलकर ऑफ मराठा मंडल पॉलिटेक्निक और टुडे आई एम पोस्टिंग माय फोर्थ वीडियो ऑन डीसीटी क्वेश्चंस ऑन द सब्जेक्ट बी ट्रिपल ई दैट इज बेसिक्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन कुलम इज द यूनिट ऑफ विच क्वान्टिटी ओके now we all know that the standard unit of charge is coulomb and one coulomb is defined as one newton of force applied on one unit of electric field okay so a general coulomb is a unit of charge okay so here option b will be the right answer charge ab then we'll go to the next question question number 62 coulomb's law is employed in what okay now whenever we study coulomb's law first law and second law the first law says that uh, the like uh, charges will repel and unlike charges will attract and second law gives the magnitude of the force of attraction or a repulsion which is equal to the product of the two charges upon the square of the distance okay now these all study comes in electrostatics okay coulomb's law is applied to static charges it states that the force between any two point charges is proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them thus it is used in electrostatics okay so here option a will be the answer coulomb's law is employed in electrostatics okay then we'll go to the next question question number 63 which of the following is a vector quantity okay now the options here are electrical potential that is voltage electrical field intensity electrical charge which is in coulomb and none of the above so here a uh, a quantity which is having both magnitude and direction is the electrical field intensity so here option b will be the right answer electrical field intensity is a vector quantity okay vector quantity means it has magnitude and direction both clear then we'll go to the next question number 64 the unit of field intensity is okay now the unit of field intensity is force upon coulomb okay that that is newton upon coulomb so here option d will be the right answer that is newton upon coulomb okay is the unit of field intensity then we'll go to the next question another name of relative permittivity is okay now another name of re uh, relative uh, permittivity is the dielectric constant because it is the dielectric constant between the plates for a capacitor so that is relative permittivity okay so here option a will be the right answer another name for relative permittivity is dielectric constant then we'll go to the next question question number 66 two charges are placed at a certain distance apart okay a brass sheet is placed between them then the force between them will increase or decrease or remains unchanged okay that means the force is given as the product of two charges upon distance between them square square of the distance between them okay now if two charges are placed at a distance apart and a brass sheet is placed between them okay when the brass sheet is placed between them the product of the two charges will become less the magnitude of the force between the two charges will become less okay that means it has to decrease two charges are placed at a distance apart a brass sheet is placed between them then the force between them has to decrease so here option b will be the right answer okay then we'll go to the next question question number 67 when the relative permittivity of the medium is increased okay the relative permittivity of the medium is increased the force between two charges placed at a distance apart will increase or decrease or remain same or none of that okay now we know that the force of the two charges is given as q1 into q2 upon d square okay so if you take the constants it will be a given as 
9 into 10 to the power of 9 into q1 q1 q2 upon relative permittivity into d square that means the force is inversely proportional to the relative permittivity now when force is inversely proportional to relative permittivity then when the relative permittivity of the medium is increased the force has to decrease that means here the option b will be the right answer it decreases the force between two charges placed at a given distance will decrease because you are increasing the relative permittivity okay then we'll go to the next question a region around a stationary electric charge has options are magnetic field electric field both electric and magnetic field and d neither electric field or nor magnetic field now a region around a stationary electric charge will be a electric field only so here option b will be the right answer electric field okay so a region around a stationary electric charge has electric field then we'll go to the next question question number 69 the force of attraction or repulsion between two charges q1 and q2 at a distance d meters apart is proportional to the product of charges q1 and q2 and is inversely proportional to the distance square between the two charges this above statement is what we have studied in coulomb's second law okay so this was your coulomb's second law coulomb's first law says that uh, like charges will repel and unlike charges will attract and coulomb's second law is uh, giving you the magnitude of force which is the product of the two charges q1 q2 upon the square of the distance between them so this is coulomb's law so in this option option c will be the right answer coulomb's law okay then we'll go to the next question question number 70 as per coulomb's law the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is directly proportional to what? Option A is sum of the magnitude of the two charges, square of the distance between them, product of the magnitude of the two charges and cube of the distance. So here we know that whenever we take force is equal to, it will be product of the two charges upon distance between them square with a constant okay so here q1 q2 is the product of the magnitude of the charges so here you can see this is the product of the magnitude of the charges okay so here option c will be the right answer product of the magnitude of charges then we'll go to the next question question was 71 the capacity charged through a resistor r okay the time constant of the charging circuit so here you are having a circuit where you are having r and c okay r and c okay now the time constant of the charging circuit will be given by the product rc product rc will give the time constant okay time constant for charging circuit then here in this options if you see option c is rc so option c is the right answer here clear then we'll go to the next question question number 72 the value of k that is constant k in coulomb's law depends upon what options are magnitude of charges distance between charges medium between two charges or all of the above so the value of k in the coulomb's law where we are saying that f is equal to f is equal to k q1 q2 that is product of the two charges upon d square okay now this k depends upon the medium of the two charges so here option c will be the right answer it is medium between two charges clear then we'll go to the next question question number 73 if the medium between two charges is air then the value of constant k in si units is what so the value of constant k in si unit if the medium is air it is standard 9 into 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square per capacitor square okay 
So it is 9 into 10 to the power of 9. Option B is the right answer here. Okay. Then we'll go to the next question. Question number 74. A device which stores charge is called as. Obviously, it is capacitor. Capacitor is a device which can store electric charge. So a storing charge device is capacitor. So option C will be the right answer over here. Okay. Then we'll go to the next question, question number 75. What is the value of capacitance of a capacitor which has a voltage of 4 volt and has a 16 coulomb of charge? Okay, so here we can use a formula. Okay, so here we can use a formula which says that Q is equal to CV. Okay, so charge is equal to capacitance into voltage. Now here he has given a voltage V is equal to 4 volt and charge is equal to Q is equal to 16 coulombs. Okay. Then he has asked what is the capacitance. Capacitance C is equal to Q upon V. So it is 16 upon 4 which is equal to 4 farads. Okay. So C is equal to 4 farads. So option B will be the right answer over here, uh, four for us, okay? Then we'll go to the next question, question number 76. For which medium capacitance is high? So medium can be air, mica, water or metal. So we know that metals are assumed to be a high value of dielectric constant. So they have high capacitance. So here the medium with high capacitance is metal. So option D is the right answer here, metal, okay. Then we'll go to the next question, question number 77. The capacitance between two plates increases with, with what, okay. Now we have studied that a capacitance C, okay, a capacitance C, if you see, if you see the formula, capacitance C is directly proportional to the area of the cross-sectional plates and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them for a parallel plate capacitor. For a parallel plate a capacitor. Now, okay, now the, this a capacitance can increase if the area of the plates increases and the distance between them decreases. Okay, so from these options, if you see, Option A says shorter plate area and higher applied voltage. Option B says shorter play area and shorter distance between them. Option C says larger plate area and longer distance between them. And option D says larger plate area and shorter distance between them. So this is suitable. Option D is suitable to increase the capacitance because larger plate area A and shorter distance D is less. That means capacitance value will increase. Okay, so option D will be the right answer over here. Larger plate area and shorter distance between the plates will increase the capacitance between two plates capacitor. Okay, then we'll go to the next question. Question number 78. Which of the following depends on charging and discharging rate of a capacitor? Okay, obviously the charging and discharging rate of a capacitor depends on the time constant as, as I've told you earlier, we can have time constant for a RC circuit. So this is RC. So R into C, this product will decide how much will be the rate of charging and discharging. So it is time constant. Time constant in a circuit consisting of a capacitor is the product of the resistance and the capacitance. Smaller the time constant, faster is the charging and discharging rate and vice versa. Clear? So here option A will be the right answer, clear? Then we'll go to the next question. What is the initial current while charging a capacitor? Okay, options are high, low, zero, and cannot be determined. Okay, now initial current of a capacitor is very high because the voltage source will transport charges from one plate of the capacitor to the other plate. So initial current will be very high. The last end current will be low, but initial current should be high, okay? So here option A will be the right answer. The initial current while charging a capacitor is high, clear? 
then we'll go to the next question question number 80 uh, a capacitor is charged to a voltage 400 volt and has a resistance of 20 ohms calculate the initial value of the charging current so here initial value of the charging current will be given as voltage upon resistance this is according to your simple ohms law so here the voltage is how much 400 and our resistance is how much 20 ohms so i is equal to 400 upon 20 so 0 0 goes to 40 upon 2 is 20 so i is equal to 20 ampere so here option d will be the right answer i is equal to 20 ampere okay so here you can see that option d is the correct answer for this so students here i have taken another 20 question based on the coulomb's law and charging and discharging of capacitor okay on the next topic i will take another 20 question in my next video thank you very much